Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Chad and today I want to talk to you about the brand new Microsoft Surface Duo. This is a really cool new phone slash tablet uh, two-in-one style device that Microsoft has come out with. This is a phone and a tablet. It has a nice 360 degree hinge that you can do all sorts of stuff with. I'll talk about here in a little bit. But I've actually chose this over my iPhone 11 Pro Max as my daily phone that I use. This has replaced that phone and also an iPad Pro 11. So this is my all-in-one multi-device that I use for everything now for work. Um, I actually treat this more like a laptop slash tablet than anything because honestly, who makes phone calls anyways? If we're <laughs> not using Slack or Google Duo, I don't know anybody who's actually making phone calls. But anyway, so this is a fantastic device. So I wanted to give you my mini review after using this for two weeks and why I chose this over the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the brand new Samsung Galaxy Fold 2, which I also had. So some of the cool things that I like with the device and one of the main reasons I chose this over the Fold 2, as you can see, this device is super thin. It's extremely light. Even with these bumpers on, you can see how thin it is. Let me show you in comparison to a thumb drive. So this is a USB thumb drive. You can see that the thumb drive is way thicker than this entire device. Even folded up with the pad, with the, uh, the bumper pad on here, the USB thumb device is still thicker than this phone is. This phone is about as thick as your actual iPhone. This might be a little thinner. This might be a little thinner than your iPhone or your Galaxy Note or any other phone device. So it's super thin and why does that matter? Well, it matters because it keeps the device extremely light and when you're using this for hours on end like I do for productivity, reading books, watching videos, uh, you know, social media, all that at the same time. And as you can see, you can hold it just like a book. <laughs> which is another main reason I chose this over the fold is because it's so easy to hold and manipulate. The hinge is super stiff. It stays at any angle that you set it to. You can do all sorts of fancy tricks and different modes that you want with it. Uh, my wife and I were out at a restaurant the other day and we were taking pictures, selfies of ourselves just by holding it up, putting the camera app on there and then setting a timer and taking pictures because it holds itself up um, at night. I like to watch videos. Uh, for example, I'll watch a YouTube video and I'll put it in tent mode so I can actually set it on the bed or a nightstand right next to me just like this and set it in this mode and it actually will rest itself. And because it has these rubber bumpers and the stiff is super rigid, you can put it, literally you can set it any angle you want. Now this thing is a multi-use beast. Let me show you why. You can see that I've created a bunch of tabs on my home screen. So you can tell it that you want to automatically open two apps at the same time, just the click of the button. So I have a YouTube and Twitter right here. If I click on that, you can see that I'll instantly open up those two applications and get to them right away. Now, of course, if I want to go full screen with one or the other, I can do that. Now, one of the nice things that I love about this device is I actually like using it in what I call the Nintendo DS mode. So what I would do is if I'm uh, using Twitter, oops, closed the wrong app. If I'm using Twitter over on this side, let me put it over here actually, and I want to create a new message. If I go just like this, you can now see on the bottom, <laughs> It has a full layout keyboard so I can start typing out there. <laughs> and one of the, my favorite keyboards is to use because you can change the keyboard layout is I actually like using the thumb. You can have it float or use thumb. You can see the different options here. And just look at how easy this device is to hold. And because it's so rigid, again, you can put it in any angle you want and use it any way you want. You want to set it on your lap and use it like a laptop you can do that and use the whole keyboard and actually be typing out messages so if you really want to be fast or what i'm doing most of the time is i'm using the device just like this so if uh, i was typing out a tweet right now it would be just like that 
Now somebody asked me in the comment section if uh, what does this look like if you're using this as a phone because this is a phone so it's just as easy as this so this is how it looks in phone mode let me get this off the screen this is what it looks like if you're using just one side of the panel which you can see is much larger than any other phone because it's so wide but this is what it would look like if I was using this as a phone so it isn't ginormous like people think you're holding an iPad up this is I, you know, I'm five foot 11 and I have small hands. Like I don't have monster hands. So this isn't a fake, you know, <laughs> look, this is what it would look like if you're holding the device with one hand. It's not a monster. Like everybody thinks it is. It's just like holding a regular phone. And then when I want all that display, I go just like this. Now, some of the neat things of course, with this is, if, you know, you have the two screens you can run like this, but you can also, make this a full screen with any application you're using by dragging up going into the middle and now you can see that it, i can run it this way just like that so i can scroll through if i get my hands off it just like this if you want to close it in a little bit like is what i use it again more like this mode you can scroll right through and use it you can see it's just buttery smooth or again if i want to use it in this way I can do it so it's just huge amounts of information <laughs> I don't know if you'd really want to use it this way but you can um, you can see that the content gets split right down the middle so it's not great for you know watching videos and things like that of course the more in you go the less of that crease you can see in the middle but still um, I typically watch content YouTube videos things like that in the tent mode um, just because even the one side of the screen is still bigger than most phones, uh, the most phones display in total. So you can see here, if I go to that mode again, or we're using it this way, um, full screen that, you can see how much video you're getting down there. Still, it's huge. And then it saves the top where I can run anything else I want up on the top. If I want to run Twitter up here on the top and then YouTube on the bottom, of course, I can do that. Now, any of my business users, if you're opening up PDF files, things like that, or if you're signing documents, this thing is great for that too because this has full pen support. You can use any of the Surface pen, uh, pens with this that works. There's also some other knockoff brands you can get on Amazon. And by the way, I'm going to leave a link down in the description where you can pick yours up. Uh, I bought mine from Best Buy, so I'll leave a link down there for you guys to be able to grab those if you want to get one of these devices. Um, I think it's, it's a productivity beast, and I'm going to do a ton of videos on this device. So any questions you guys have or anything you want to see down below, let me know. This would be an example of if you guys were using this to view PDFs and sign contracts. Of course, you can move it around, but I can't show you more because it has company information in that. But works great for that on the go. Also, I can remote into my desktop. So any of you guys that are curious how that is um, i'll make a video just for that because i think it's such a big deal having such a large display on the go but i can remote into my computer and take over so that works really well so as far as the build quality goes this is mostly glass with some plastic but it just it feels glass overall so be careful because the front and the back are all glass and i actually had this bounce right out of my bicycle mount um, we ride our bikes every day and it actually flew out of the mount hit the concrete i was going about 10 miles an hour it actually cracked the entire glass back of this device um, but i do have a different bike mount coming today so as soon as that comes in i'll show you guys what that looks like because i think it'll <laughs> get rid of this whole issue but as you can see it just smashed the whole back luckily i got the best buy protection so i can go in and warranty it but just note that it is all glass you i don't think they have any cases yet for it i'm not going to put a case on it i'm not too worried about it um i've literally been reviewing phones since cell phones came out and i've never broke a phone this is my first time ever breaking a phone so <laughs> the odds are pretty good that i won't do it again but if i do at least i have the warranty on it it didn't damage the hinge or anything the hinge still works perfect 
so really I could probably just throw a sticker on it and be done with it but I don't know I have the warranty so I might as well use it so that's the build quality the buttons feel really good they are nice and clicky as you can hear this does have a fingerprint sensor right here which is super good um, it's probably the best fingerprint sensor I've ever used you can open the device a couple different ways when you or unlock your device when you turn it on it has this uh, it's a peak view it's just so you can see the time and stuff as you can see it in there then when you open up the device it's ready to be unlocked now I have in one of my tips and tricks uh, videos a couple of cool things you can use to um, unlock your device faster and I will have that in a separate video but you can unlock it simply by putting your thumb on the button even with the display off if I just rest my thumb on the button it actually will unlock the device or if I want because I'm in a secured location I can just hit the power button and my device is unlocked so it's really cool works well I've never had any issues unlocking the device at all um, you know just of course Make sure you have a couple different fingers uh, registered to the device and it works really good. So other than that, I think the build quality is great. You have one USB plug-in right here, which of course you can plug into your computer so you can transfer files, things like that. Um, and the only other thing is, is it just has one speaker. It's extremely loud. I'll have another video on that. It's just one speaker that's up here. Of course, because it's a phone speaker, it sounds kind of tinny, just like always, but it's louder than almost every phone out that's on the market. It's a super loud one. <laughs> I'll have to figure out a way to record it, show you the decibel readings um, without it like blowing up the audio on a YouTube video, but it does get really loud. The displays are two AMOLED displays. The color temperature is really good. You can change it from its uh, AMOLED poppy color, the Vivid, to a standard sRGB, which is more of a neutral, flat, you know, normal looking color. So it does have some settings in there you can change it. You don't have to put these bumpers on here. They're basically just uh, stuck on like a 3M sticker, but they are very secure. Once it goes on there, it doesn't really come off. So they did a good job of that. So I think the build quality is really good. Again, just remember and be mindful that this is an all glass device. So other than that, treat it like you would any other phone. <laughs> I'm going to put a, a probably a D-brand sticker on it, though, just to protect it from scratches because it is glass. If I want to throw it in with keys or just chuck it around, you don't have a problem with it. But for the most part, I don't worry about it. I treat it just like a regular phone. So build quality, it's really good. For a first-gen product, it's fantastic. I can't wait to see what they do with the second generation. Um, and one of the last things here I want to show you real quick in this quick video is the Kindle app. They've done such a cool job with this. If any of you are readers and love to use uh, Kindle devices, I think this is the world's most expensive, perfect Kindle device because it fits perfect in your hand again. Um, so if you want it to go on both screens, again, you just swipe up. You can see it's holding the application. Go to the middle. As soon as it's on there, just like this. You've now got a full-blown Kindle book. And you can see that it even uses the animations for Kindle. So really cool device. Again, I'll have more content on it. I hope you guys like this. If you would, make sure you click that subscribe and that thumbs up. It does help the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.